Hello everyone, welcome back to the Weekend Soft Roading channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can get more runtime with your portable battery and your fridge. With older or cheaper power stations, the DC plug, this plug right here that connects up to your refrigerator, is unregulated. And what that means is the voltage can vary from 12 volts down to 9 volts, depending on where you are in the battery level. So this battery right now is about, almost on if you can see by the blue light, it's about maybe 40% or even less. Uh, and now this will not operate the fridge because the fridge requires 12 volts to actually run the compressor. And I can show you what that looks like. So everything's plugged in, as you can see here. I'll show you what the fridge says on screen. So as you can see from the fridge, it says E1 and error one indicates that the voltage is too low for this compressor to run. And I know I still have battery left into this in this battery, because when I click the battery check, I still got two bars left. So that just means that this power supply here, or this power bank, has an unregulated uh, DC 12 volt port. And we're gonna convert this, or we're gonna do some DIY to make this regulated so we can actually drain the battery to zero or close to zero uh, and make sure that this fridge can operate uh, for longer. And I'll show you what I've done and I'll show you now. So what I have here is a DC to DC converter, as you can see from the specs here on screen. But basically what it does is the input level goes down to eight volts all the way up to 40. And then the output level is 12 volts, six amps max. Uh, you can get the 13 uh, volt one as well, but so that is the, the voltage that it gets uh, when you plug in the, the end here. So with that, if the voltage is lower than 12, this input will then, or it will then output 12 volt six uh, max, even if the input level is about eight volts. So this regulates the voltage so that the fridge can actually run and the, the compressor can actually kick on. It's a pretty easy DIY. Uh, so you'll the parts you'll need is this converter, which I'll link down below, and also uh, a couple plugs that you have to splice together. And I'll show you what that looks like here as well. So as you can see, it's spliced. I've created that with, uh, with that tape. Uh, so the input is just your regular uh, car. So this can plug into the battery. And then the output is just a female version of that so I could plug this into the fridge. And with that, I'll show you what it looks like when it's everything's plugged in here. So now I have everything plugged in. So here is the input side, as you can see here. And you can see here. And then now the output side is plugged into the fridge. So now if you see on the screen, the compressor is running and I'm not getting that error anymore. There you go. As you can see, the fridge reads it out as 11.5 volts rather than uh, 10 or lower. So that E1 error that we're seeing will no longer be there. And the battery level is still gonna be two bars, but it can run this for much longer. And again, drain it uh, all the way down to a more suitable number, maybe even like 10% battery life left rather than having 40 or higher left. So now, uh, rather running this to 40% and not being able to run the fridge, I can run this down to 10% and and have more runtime. This is only 155 watts. I've tested it here at my home. I left it overnight for probably 12 hours and this still had a full charge with this whole setup. Again, when you're doing this conversion, there is an efficiency loss. So the efficiency is about 95 to 96%. So there's a four to 5% loss on the power, but that's that doesn't matter because now I can actually fully utilize this battery for much longer and run this fridge for much longer. I do have to test this out during the summer months when it's a lot warmer because when I left this out uh, overnight, the average temperature inside my room was about 25 degrees. Uh, so it was 25 degrees Celsius. So with that, I need to see how long this can actually last. But so far, uh, this uh, this converter has helped. Again, all the, all the items are gonna be linked down below. And again, this is gonna be for power supplies. 
that have an unregulated DC port, such as this AIMCOM or some other ones that you may have. A regulated DC port, you don't need this because it's already regulated. It's always going to be at 12 volts, uh, but an unregulated one will go down to 9 volts or even lower depending on the battery level. So with this setup, again, this will make it last much, much longer. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.